Hey, TIs, how are you? Um, yeah, just hold your ground. I just can't uh, realize I woke up from a really nasty dream. You know, compliments of DARPA. Your masons. Your best friends on the planet. Yeah. You see that? You see that white the satellite right there? It's in between the two wires. Yeah. That right there, everybody, is DARPA. That's my, my satellite that follows me everywhere. It's not a planet. It's a satellite. Or a drone. Yep. That thing has been around for a while now, for the last four years. It's not a star. I know what that is. That's you, DARPA. Mm -hmm. I can always tell because I can see the ring around you. I can see your hologram. I can see you move, too. See, that's the thing, Tiaz. If you look at them, start, if you really stare at them long enough, they start to move. <clears throat> that's their technology. You can see a round, sink, uh, circular thing go around them. Yeah, like a halo. If you stare at them long enough. Yeah, there's their secret technology right there. There's my spy unit right there. The biggest one of them all. Because I have um, technology inside me against my will. And that's the very thing that DARPA uses to track me down every day. They hunt me down. There, there's your Orion, the hunter of men. Right there. So, you can always tell when they start moving in the air. They start swaying. Swaying in the wind. That's your technology, boys and girls. That's my best friend right there. See him? He's just sitting there. That's DARPA. NSA. The Cabal. Whoever. Yeah, see he's getting brighter. Show your true colors. See, world? There you go. There's your technology, I told you. You're down in the dumbs and they send them up to these satellites and then they, they hit your body, your chakra system. And they affect your pineal gland and they can download anything they want into your mind. And this is how people hurt themselves. It's because of this crap. It's called EMR. Electromagnetic resonance. And then it has a companion right there. I don't know if you can see it. Really, really tiny, but it's blinking right now. <clears throat> Anyhow. That's the technology, boys and girls. That's your AI system. And it is not your friend. Because when they roll this whole thing out, the, when really heavy shit starts coming up, <clears throat> your fake alien invasion thing, Better hold on to your ass. But then again, the gang stalkers already know. So, TIs, I highly recommend that you just relax. Don't get it, don't, do not get wrapped up in it because they're going to put on a show. Just think of it as like what happened in Charleston, only it's going to be global. Okay? Keep your cool. Keep your hat on. Keep your feet firmly in the ground. Do not panic. Okay, I'm telling you, this is a show that they're going to do. They want to keep man subjugated, and this is all going back to the ancient Egyptians. Okay, this is how they do it. Snake eating its tail. Okay, round and round and round, alright? Keep your cool, T.I.s. Okay. 
I told you what I might do. I just might just pull up a chair and drink a beer. That's what I'm going to do. Because I already told the monkey asses I'm going to be here for their little show. Told them, straight up. I'm going to be here for your event. Because I'm a witness for God. The true creator. The big boss. Okay? Not for, you know, the Lord of the Earth. Okay? TIs, again, I emphasize. If shit starts going downhill... Right now they're attacking the 13 colonies. Okay? If shit really starts going down... You know? Or if something happens to me... And you don't hear from me again... Keep your cool. Don't get excited. Don't take sides is what I'm trying to say. Do not take the white. Do not take the black. Do not take the Pleiadians. Do not take the dark side. Whatever goes on. But I, I insist on being here. I already announced it to the dark side. I'm gonna, My ass is going to be here on this planet. My ass is going my, to... My little butt is going to be on this planet when the shit rolls out. So, you know, I, yeah, that's what I'm going to do. I'm just going to take that kind of approach. Just pull up a chair and I'm just going to watch the show. Yep. Because there's nothing I can do. I just have to watch the show. It's just like the stuff in Charleston. You know, the, you know, what can you do? I do know that that car was remotely controlled. I could, I can tell. Mm-hmm. Remote control. And I think Breitbart was trying to do a story on uh, remote controlled cars. The secret technology. I think that was, was another story that he was working on. Because I remember Alex Jones sort of mentioning it. But then it got, um, it got thrown under the rug. So, um, yeah, I know there's people out there that are trying to break this, break it out, but, you know, unfortunately things happen. That's the sad thing. The chemtrails are an antenna into your chakra system and your central nervous system, and they send the frequencies out and they affect your DNA. Because they already know who the gen what the genetics are on this planet. And the reason why there's a battle going on is because they're trying to um, destroy mankind. Anything to do with God, the creator of the universe. They want to just weed it out, and they do it through breeding, too. Cloning, breeding, yeah, get rid of woman, get rid of man, have androgyny, because the reptilians are androgynous. Did you know that? Well, now you know. And androgyny stems from Indra, I-N-D-R-A, Indra. Oh. Yeah, there's a mini war going on. I've been in battle since a little kid, but I didn't realize it until the last, until 2012, 2013, when we quote unquote hit the Montauk bump in the in the in the atmosphere when they bumped us into go online, the bump. Right? You think I forgot about Montauk people? The Phoenix 3 project, where you put everybody online. And then all of a sudden it was interesting how my gang stalkers and the general public went online to become complete assholes. 
Isn't it amazing how like a switch of a flick people just turn into complete assholes? They turn into gain stalkers overnight. Yeah, that was a flip of the switch, people. They went online on 2013 DARPA. The bump. I have a video of Montauk. It's a chart. It's it's um it's the Phoenix 3. It's the technology that they used to put Earth on an artificial timeline. So we are on an artificial timeline right now. Okay. It's an artificial world, people. That's what they're creating. Never heard other people talk about, you know, the bump. Well, the bump hurt happened back in 2013. That's why 2012 was such a, you know, um, one of the mystical things where everybody's like, oh, go to your higher self and all this crap, you know. They wanted you to surrender. I remember this stuff. I remember something happened to me in December of 2012. I remember something did happen. I felt something. And what that was is the, the chemtrails in your body, what they did is they, they, um, they have a frequency and they just, they just hit you and you just you felt this, this surge of something. You went online. You went online with DARPA is what happened. The bump in the road was for all of humanity to go online so they, these, these um, masons and dark people can have access to your chakra system. Kid you not. It's all about technology. It's all about manipulation. It's all about telling, you know, you how to, you know, brush your teeth in the morning. That's why I tell you now. Because when this thing, this Rev 13 thing rolls out, it's all about, you know, same thing. Man surrendering. His divinity on the earth. Turning man into machine. <clears throat> That's what it's all about. Get on your knees. Just get on your knees, people. Are you ready to do that? To consent? Do you consent? There's more. I don't have all the answers of everything, but I do know about the Kabbalistic Rev 13 crap. I'm not the only one talking about their fake alien invasion thing. It's just that, you know, what they've done is they've shut up all the UFO people. They went quiet, didn't they? Except for me. Why? Because I'm a TI. I'm going through this crap every day. I'm in pain every day, people. But I put my boots on every day because I have responsibilities. Every responsibility to myself to God, and, you know, to other people, other TIs that are really hurting. Because I know what this crap is all about. I know what the show is about. This thing in Charleston, yeah. You know, that's horrible. That's horrible what, that, what, what happened that day. That was irresponsibility. That was people acting out and being savages in the night. Total irresponsibility. You had people standing there in riot gear. They were looking for picking a fight. Why? Because it generates bioenergy for, for the system. That car was remote controlled people. Someone is responsible for that car. They do... Social engineering through black magic, people. You need to get that through your head. The black magic is the, um, the AI system. That is how they construct and get, what the, get away with this crap. You know, they're going to do all this horse shit with you and they're going to go run off to the fucking moon. 144,000 special elite are going to run off to the moon. Why? Because they can. Are you going to get on your knees? So let them run off to the moon. Great. Let you know. 
You do not surrender who you are, number one. Do not give it up. You have a great pineal gland, pineal gland and a chakra system. You don't owe anybody anything. You owe yourself. Like my old man used to tell me, pay yourself first. Don't pay the man, don't pay the bill. You pay yourself first. Because you know what they do in the end? All they do is take. That's all they do. That's all they do. They just take. They have no concerns for anybody but themselves. That's the truth. So I'm letting you know. To all the TIs, again, I'm telling you, do not forget who and what you are. Do not give in to the show. Because they will put on a show. Your next door neighbor is going to put on a show. They will act like they're scared when they got the memo a long time ago. Do not be fooled. These people are manipulators. They manipulate the system. They manipulate humanity. Humanity covers up humanity by lying and sitting in silence. They're cowards. They have all their secrets down in the dumbs. That's how they train their children to be gang stalkers. future generations to be complete assholes to another human being that is, you know, the same age. These are adults, people. These are adults that are acting out. They're not adults. They're immature human beings. They haven't grown up on a soul level. They haven't grown up. Playing this game. It's serious, people. They train their children to be gang stalkers. And they refuse to grow up because they want to follow the simple path. Because they don't want to they don't want to get zapped. Like all the rest of us that have had to endure all this horse shit. I'm telling you, I see them all the time. I walk right by them. I get, you know, go for walks, go to the grocery store. They, they have no concern. They don't care. They only care about themselves. They want to convert you. They want to re-educate you their way. They want control. They want you to go along to get along and get in. And then if you do that, guess what happens to you? You have to get in line. Get in line. Go ahead and be like them. Go. I insist. Go be like them. That sell their children out. I already know about betrayal, people. I already know about, you know, my family selling me out. And I also am aware of the situation where a lot of these families, they don't want to be doing what they're doing. I, I'm fully aware that a lot of them don't want to be gang stalkers, but they have to do it. I am fully 